Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll show you how to use Magic Select in Paint 3D and PowerPoint to edit photos. To select the desired parts from two different photos and combine them to make into one. It's a skill I learned and use a lot lately, so I like to share it with you. Here is one of the photos. I like everything about this photo except the pot stickers. These are not the best looking pot stickers I have ever made. I made pot stickers that day for dinner. It's already so dark and I don't have a setup to take good photos at night in my house. So I took this photo the next day with leftover pot stickers. They are cold and they look dead to me and I knew they, they were dead. So I don't like this, I want to change it. I have this photo I took a couple years ago um, when I had a brand new Gnostic pen. Um, look, the char is so consistent and because it's a brand new Gnostic pen, um, it's uh, so beautiful that I can invert the pot stickers in this plate and all the pot stickers stay together in one piece. I think that's just so beautiful. But that uh, Gnostic pan starts to stick now and uh, it ruined my recent cooking project. So I, I have to um, buy a new uh, pan to complete that project. Anyway, I will want everything else beside the pot stickers in this photo and I want only the pot stickers from this photo to go together in one photo. To do that, step one, open a blank PowerPoint document. Select the click to add title and click to add subtitle and delete them. Next, come to the first photo you want to work on and copy it. And step two, type P or paint 3D in the type here to search box beside the Windows sign. Find paint 3D and open it. Click on new. You can either click on menu, browse files to bring in your new file, or you can paste your photo here since I already copied it. And next, magical select. Bring the box in as close as possible to the area you want to select. Okay, and click Next. Um, there are some menu work to do this spot. Two, three, four, five, six. These six spots um, need to manually deselect or remove. So I just click on Remove. I drag and draw across the spot that I want to remove. Okay. And I click and draw across that area. And I click and draw across that area. And this one. And this one. And this spot. Okay, now click on Down. There is an outlying box over the selected area. Click and drag it aside. You will see what Magic Select has done for you. And then right click on that, copy it, and paste it into your PowerPoint. Okay, so you are already done with selecting the wanted area from the one of the photos. So now come back to the other photo that you want to do magical select on. Copy it. 
and paste it into the Paint 3D program. Click on Menu and then New. Don't save. Paste the second photo here. And click on Magical Select. So we want to select almost all the area except the part sticker and the plate. So click on Next. There are more uh, manual work in this one. Uh, all these areas need to be selected, so click on Add and just click and draw across all the area that you want to select. Okay, so keep doing that. So now we are done adding the selection. And we need to tell the program what to remove. Click on Remove and draw around the pod sticker and the plate and click Down. Click and drag aside. You will see what Magic Select has done for you. This is so fun. I can keep doing this all day long without any purpose. Um, but we have a purpose here. Right click and copy. Paste it into PowerPoint. So from this point on, most people are familiar with editing photos and text in PowerPoint. Um, you can move this one aside a little bit so you can see the other one. Click on the pod sticker one, bring it forward, and center this one, and resize this one so it fit on the plate here. Um, you can turn it, uh, okay, and then you can also, okay, kind of stretch it. It kind of distorted the photo, but now that looks good, click on File, Save As, save it to a folder, give it a name. Make sure save as type, you choose JPEG or PNG. I choose JPEG. Click save. Just this one. And now let's look at in the folder. That's the photo we just made by selecting the desired parts from two different photos and put together to make this photo. Hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please subscribe or give this video a thumb up or um, heart my instructable article to let me know that you liked what I shared. Thank you. See you in next video.